Now the final question that we want to look at is the pH of resultant solutions when you mix two solutions together. So we'll do exactly the same thing that we did before, but this time we just need to be aware of, of whether or not there's a solution in excess or and or one uh, that's a limiting agent. So in this case, I've got lithium hydroxide and I'm reacting it with nitric acid. This is a nicer one because our ratios are a little easier. Um, we have uh, lithium nitrate as our salt in solution and we form water. And this equation is already balanced, so our mole ratios are 1 to 1 to 1 to 1, so that's nice. Then what I'm going to do is I need to work out the number of moles of each of these. So let's put the values that we have in and see where we go from here. So for the lithium first, it's a one molar solution of lithium hydroxide and we have 20 mils. So let me make that straight away 0 0.02 litres. For the nitric acid, I'll just do the lighter blue and uh, it is a 0.5 molar solution, 0 0.5 molar. And we have 30 mil, so it's 0 0.03 litres. Now, as I did before, I'm going to go up for each of these. And I'm going to have a look at my total number of moles. So in the first case, I've got um, my name on my CV. So I'm going to multiply uh, my concentration by volume. And I will get 0 0.02 times 1. So that's not too difficult. 0 0.02 moles. But for the um, nitric acid, I have 0.5 times 0 0.03. So this one's going to be 0 0.015 moles. So when this reaction occurs, because my ratio is 1 to 1, I have a limiting agent. I have one of my species which uh, cannot fully react with the other. So this is limiting and this is in excess. What I want to do then is I want to look at the one that's in excess because that's going to be the critical one. So as a result of this, I have an excess of lithium hydroxide. And the number of moles I have is 0 0.02 minus 0 0.015 which is going to be 0 0.005 moles. Because I have 0 0.05 moles, my final volume is equal to 20 plus 30, which is 50 mils, because I've added both of these solutions together. So now I have a final volume of 50 mils. So therefore, my final concentration is going to be number of moles over volume, which is 0 0.005 divided by and 50 mils is going to be 0 0.05 litres um, and when I do that I'm going to end up with a final concentration of 0 0.01 moles per litre of my lithium hydroxide. Now the problem that I have um, to solve now is that I need the final pH and in order to get the final pH I'm going to have to actually do a two-step calculation because I'm going to have to start with the um, pOH. So again, just in red here, let's put the pOH is equal to minus the log base 10 concentration of OH minus ions. And because this is the value that's going in there, I'm going to have minus the log base 10. I'm running out a little space here, but let's just do it anyway. Uh, base 10 of 0 0.1. And that's going to be a pOH equal to 1. Now, the problem is that's not the pH, we, but we do know that um, 14 minus the pOH is equal to the pH. And therefore, the pH of this solution is going to be 13. Now, this is a very um, basic solution. So even though we've tried to neutralize um, these solutions, we find that because one of these was in excess, it remained in the solution afterwards and still ended up, therefore, with a very high uh, pH solution. This has been a lot. This is a big video. Lots of worked examples here for you, and I'm sure you'll do plenty more in class. Good luck with them. Keep practicing, and thanks for watching.